The Tigers series finale against the Twins 105 today down at Comerica Park. You're watching the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. Mike Stone, John Neal, I am Brad Gale. Use the hashtag 7 Sports Cave to interact with us as we are now joined live by Tigers pitcher Jabba Chamberlain at Comerica Park. Jabba, thanks for joining us, bud. Yeah, thanks for having me. Love the beard. Love what you've been doing on the mound lately. The way this team's been playing, I was in that clubhouse a couple of times this week and I asked around, is it a good vibe when you're playing this well and the, and, the, and the winds are coming? I know you can't win a World Series in April or in May, but what does it do for you guys when you're rolling the way you guys have been rolling? You know, I think it just it starts in the clubhouse. And, and obviously, you know, it started in spring training with Brad and, and bringing his dynamic to, uh, to a new team. Obviously, he, he was coming in and didn't try to reinvent the wheel, and I think it just carried over into the season. And, you know, we love to have a good time. Obviously, in the clubhouse, we, we joke around and, and do things like that. But when it comes to, uh, to playing on the field, get between the lines, these guys are serious. And uh, it's definitely fun to play with these guys. And, you know, we're playing good baseball from top to bottom, and uh, it's fun to see. Is it more of a relief being away from New York and all the hubbub, and now you can actually have a beard, and it seems to us have more <laughs> fun than you could as a Yankee? Is that kind of a weight off your shoulder being here? Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm definitely saving money on razors, that's for sure. <laughs> um, but no, I think it's just, a, you know, sometimes change isn't always easy, but sometimes it's for the best. I had a wonderful experience in New York. I'd experienced a lot of things, and, you know, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. But, you know, I'm, I'm also grateful for the opportunity to uh, Mr. Illich and, and Mr. Dombrowski for bringing me over here and having this opportunity to help this team. They've been so close so many years, and, you know, I've been on the, the losing end a couple of times. So it's definitely nice to be on this side of things and, you know, obviously seeing how talented they are. And, uh they just put together a great team, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, but we, we saw the Zubas uh, yeah. debut this week and sort of took on a life of its own. What's that all about? Can you explain to people just uh, sort and, and did you expect it to, to, to become what it was? <laughs> um, no, I actually did. I didn't expect it to blow up that big. I mean, it's, it's sad, though, when you put them on, you actually just want to go to sleep. It puts you in the mood <laughs> to just uh, shut down and go to sleep. But, no, we were in Minnesota, and uh, I think Joe Nathan got a gift of them, and Tori stole them. And then we started playing well, and I was like, a buddy of mine is, uh, is sponsored by him, and uh, let me give him a call and see if we can make something happen. And, you know, long story longer, uh, everybody's got him, and, and it's not only pants, it's sweatshirts, it's ties, it's everything. So it's exciting, and uh, I try not to put him on too often because I just want to sleep. If you guys saw my tweet the other day, you saw how, uh, how comfortable Victor looked in his, and uh, he definitely, definitely took him a little nap. Well, it's a high point in the season. I mean, you guys have been rolling well. And we're getting a, a Twitter question here from Raymond Labonte. Labray29 wants to know how the atmosphere in the bullpen is with fan interaction in Detroit compared to New York. Um, it's a little different. Uh, obviously, in New York, you can't really, uh, you're inside. And, you know, if you sit outside, the, all the, uh, the bleacher creatures are behind you. And uh, the bleacher creatures are awesome. They, they were uh, a big part of, uh, of who I was out there. And I love those guys to death. And, but it's awesome seeing the, some of the Detroit fans and get loud when you get to the bullpen. And, you know, it's just awesome. Fans are great. They, they, make, this, they make this game fun. They make it entertaining. And, uh, you know, it, it's always nice, too, uh, you know, when you get a fan that, that talks a little trash just so you can talk some <laughs> trash back. Now, now, you're from Nebraska. There's a certain Detroit Lion who played at the University of Nebraska. I think you, you know Sue pretty well from what I've been told. What is it about him that the fans, we can't figure out? Because we can't figure out if he wants to be here. He doesn't show up for voluntary mini camps. Have you spoke to him at all? No, when I, when I talk to him, it's it's strictly friendship. We okay. don't we don't talk shop. We don't talk business. So you're not getting any info from me. So nice try though. <laughs> Good effort. Good What's effort. he like as a I friend? Like what is Indomik and Sue like as a friend? Uh, you know, just uh, you know, when I signed here, he just you know he talked about the fans and, and what a great place it is to play. And you know, just uh, it, it was nice being able to to talk to somebody that's experienced it here and has played here and and knows what it's like. Obviously, being a being a visitor here and being on the visiting side, you see it from one perspective. But it was nice to uh, to get a perspective from the other side. Hey, Jabba, we, your success here this year, we've seen a lot of injuries. We've seen a lot of Tommy John surgery. Talk about your own experience there. I mean, how has it sort of changed your career? Um, I mean, it, it teaches you patience. You know, obviously, your arm feels well. You can't really heal a ligament. It, it's, you know, taking care of your shoulder, your scap, your back, and everything that goes along with it. So, you know, physically, it's, it's part of your job, but mentally is the hardest part. Just knowing that you feel good, then you can't play catch, or when you play catch, it's, you know, 60 feet for 20 throws, and that's all you got, even though you feel great. So physically, it is demanding on getting back, but mentally it's even harder just to, to know that you got to be out for that long and, and when you feel good and you want to push it, but, but knowing that you can't push it because, you know, your ligament takes time to heal to, to take to your body what they replaced and, and to make sure that your shoulder and scalp are strong from, from not using it for so long. Well, we love having you here, and we love having you on the show with us this morning. We, we like uh, 
you embracing this and joining us. So we try to hook you up. On Easter, you told us you loved Reese's. So oh, Kent's down I there with Reese's. us. And uh, he's got a little treat for you, Kent. That's yes. for all you, man. That's a Tiger's bucket hat yes. there, a helmet full of I Reese's. Love it. I love it. I love it. I'll definitely share with the boys, too, because the boys like the Reese's as well. <laughs> so put your Zubas <laughs> nice. on, yeah. curl up, and watch a good yeah. movie and have some Reese's. That's on us, man. Believe it. Believe it. After we get a win, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and celebrate with a couple of Reese's and some Zubas. <laughs> <laughs> and some pops, man. Enjoy that. Thanks, Java. I love it. Thanks, Thanks. guys. Thanks for having me. Yeah, have fun, Thanks. man. Thank you very much. We just had uh, someone else poke in on Twitter and said, uh, who has a better head of hair between Brad Galley, Stoney, John Neo, or who would look better with Java's beard? So we need to get the technology to kind of yeah, superimpose I'm gonna the go with, thing. I'm going to go with the swarthy guy over there. With the hair? Yeah, yeah no, yeah. That's even a the beard, too. Even Detroit the beard, too, forever. yeah. <laughs> it is a great beard. That's a, that's a great beard. That's got a yeah. great beard. Yeah. He is what so a great, great personality. Oh, my yeah. God, he's you awesome. Yeah. And, and I was going to ask him, because people don't realize how funny Miggy is. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, you watch him on that MLB show. He's a riot. He's great. And he loves the national media, so he turns it on for them a little bit more than us, which are like some other people in this town. But it is good to see. Cause so, you know, and that's what this team was lacking the last couple of years. I mean, right. we've steadily they've added a few, you know, Torrey Hunter and, and, and now this guy. I mean, that's what they, they needed, a little lively attitude in that clubhouse. And I think they found it in a few of these guys they brought in. There are plenty of personalities. Yeah. It's a fun clubhouse to go into. We'll use Twitter. Use the hashtag 7 Cape and ask us, Questions about the Tigers, and we've got one for you. Is there something special brewing down at Comerica, or have they not really played enough good teams to know what's really going on? We'll use your tweets on TV. When we come back, so much more about the Tigers and about Detroit sports in this town. John Neal, Mike Stone, Brad Galley, you're watching the Sports Cave, everybody.